make things easier. So let's first start with career options in medical. So as we have uh, seen, there are a lot of uh, medical options. There are physicians, surgeons, anesthetists, urologists, and these are the known careers. And there are many careers which we have less heard of. They are uh, nutritionist, pathologist, pharmacist. So if we start exploring all of them, probably I'll hijack the whole event. If, it's, if I start exploring all of them. So to simplify this, I'll put them into two buckets. Bucket one goes through the route of MBBS. Means you pursue MBBS for four years and then you take the specialization course. And there are other categories of the uh, courses which like dental, homeopath, Ayurveda, which does not essentially require MBBS to be completed. But all of the decisions are taken after 12th. Like after 12th you decide whether you want to pursue through MBBS and other specialization or you want to pursue without MBBS. So <laughs> the decision making is in 12th. So for us, we do not have to decide them now. We have to take a call whether to take a medicine or not. Bas hume itna hi decide karna medicine lena hai ki nahi lena. Now if we decide to pursue medicine, ki yaar humne decide kar liya, 10th ke baad humko medicine field mein pursue karna hai. Okay, what are the options? So, in India, there are almost 45,000 seats of MBBS, the colleges who offer MBBS, which are government colleges. And almost equal number, roughly 44,800 or something seats are for MBBS in private colleges. So effectively, we are looking at 90,000 seats. And almost similar number, every college which offer MBBS seat, they also offer other discipline of medicine. So 90,000 plus those seats are the seats for pursuing medicine. Okay, now we have understood the num number of seats. The second thing a lot of people ask is placements. How are MBBS placements? So here I would just give one or two sentences to tell you that MBBS placements are not that relevant because it's half the journey. Koi bhi jab doctor hai, MBBS is the first step. Uske baad specialization pursue hota hai. Even after that, if you really want to look for that, uh, <coughs> you can actually think in that way. Ki MBBS ke baad, there are placements, but they offer in the range of 4 lakh to 8 lakh. Chai ab government hospitals mein jaiye ya private hospitals mein jaiye. Hai. <coughs> so this is all about the seats in the MBBS. Now, how to pursue that? 11, 12th mein karna kya hai agar humko medicine mein jana hai to. So there is one exam called NEET, National Eligibility Entrance Test. Okay. In this exam, you have to study physics, chemistry and biology for two years and appear for an exam called NEET. NEET is a unified umbrella exam for all the colleges in the country. There might be few other exams which are state level exams. Jaise Maharashtra ka khud ka ek medical entrance exam hoga, kisi aur state ka kuch aur hoga. But the good thing for the preparing NEET is, ab NEET ke tayari kar lo, sare exams se syllabus cover ho gaya. In fact, not even in India, even if you want to pursue medicine abroad, jaise abhi recently humne Ukraine ke baare suna, Ukraine is one of the hub for Indian students for medicine. There's another hub called Australia. So, ye sub countries ka khud ka bhi ek medical entrance exam hota hai. And the good thing is, the syllabus is almost similar. They might have a separate exam for the language testing. For example, in US, you might have to appear SAT, a basic uh, aptitude test with English language test. So, you know, if you prepare for NEET, you are well prepared for medicine college all across the world. Okay, that is all about NEET. Now, the second thing in science we mostly talk about is 